We now offer people the chance to help Adam make their own Cora. This three minute video shows the process that took over a week, starting with sanding the calabash and then ensuring it is flat. An aluminium ring is used to reinforce the calabash, giving it a long life. This has to be made to measure, as every calabash is different. It's bent to shape and then fitted. The edges of the calabash are filed and the inside is coated with resin, strengthening the body and brightening the sound. The skin, which Adam has already treated to remove all the hairs, is cut to size and holes made all the way round the edge, ready for the rope to weave in and out, creating a drawstring that is pulled tightly around the calabash. To get a really tight, smooth and wrinkle-free skin onto a calabash takes a lot of skill and time. Once it has dried a little, the crossbar and handles are pushed through the slits made in the skin and the core body is left to dry. The positions on the neck for the eyelets are marked prior to shaping the neck, which already has the long slot in the back. The neck is shaped by hand using a planer and a spoke shave. And then the machine holes are drilled. The top of the neck is cut and then it is sanded to a fine finish and oiled. A circle of tacks must be placed around the edge, a sound hole cut and also tacked. Once the excess skin is removed, the holes for the neck must be cut to size and filed to a smooth finish. Next, the bridge. The angles and cuts need to be accurate. Most of the hard work has been done in advance for Yerka here, but the cutting still needs to be steady and clean. Once the Cora body is really dry and the neck is in position, then it's time to start stringing up. The tail strings are made up and one at a time tied to the eye bolt and the string tied to that tail string. It's important to use a knot that will not slip. Then the end of the string goes through the eyelet at the front and turning around to see the string is fed through the hole in the machine head spindle, held taut and wound on. Once there are a few strings in place, the bridge can be put into position, with those strings holding it down with tension. Then it's just doing all the others. Lots of tuning, lots of playing and retuning until it settles down and you have your Cora.